Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to do a rendering shootout to see uh, who's faster at rendering uh, vector layers, uh, Manifold, uh, ArcGIS Pro, or QGIS. That's kind of a fun and sporting event. We're looking at Manifold System Release 9. You can do all this in the free Manifold Viewer as well, by the way. And what we have here is a map that has a, a, a Bing Street Maps uh, background layer. I've just turned that on and off. And uh, then it's got uh, two other uh, sort of layers. And I'll turn on the layers pane so we can see here. Uh, up top here, there's a so-called U.S. Roads layer, which is all the roads in the continental United States. Uh, that's about 22 million some objects. And uh, let's see what that works out to. That's actually 22,271,000 objects. And uh, here we have uh, a combined folder, which is, uh, uh, which is uh, 50 layers. And those are all the different roads uh, by state plus the District of Columbia. And by putting them in a folder in the layers pane, we can turn them all on, all on and off at once. Uh, by the same at the same time. That's also something called a uh, grouping in ArcGIS Pro or QGIS. So let's see how fast it takes, how long it takes Manifold to uh, display 50 layers that total up to 22 million some odd objects. Let's click that to turn them on, and there it's done. It takes uh, only that long, and everything here is uh, instantaneous. It's actually all the roads for you know the whole darn United States there, in the lower 48 anyway. And as you as we zoom in here, we're right clicking and dragging to zoom in. We can see that. Uh, all this stuff uh, moves, pans and zooms just fine. It's very quick. Uh, there's absolutely no delay. It's uh, You can mess around with entire states worth of uh, roads and it just pans and zooms. I'm going to control click on that tab to uh, zoom to fit to that tab. You can see how quickly that redraws. Let's turn on the upper layer, which is all those roads as a single layer. And that's going to take slightly longer to render because uh, instead of uh, uh, rendering everything uh, using uh, many, many different threads, uh, it's uh, going to use only fewer threads because it's just one layer. Here, let's turn that off and let's uh, turn the uh, states layers back on and off again. Let's turn that off and let's turn on the states layers to uh, re-render those. You can see how quickly it re-rendered those. Let's turn everything on. So now we're working with uh, 44 million uh, objects. And you know, wherever we go in the United States, let's uh, right-click and drag here to LA area, which is plenty of dense uh, roads. And uh, here's uh, LAX if you're flying in and out of uh, the airport there. And uh, right around here is UCLA. And uh, somewhere in here is Hollywood. Uh, and uh, you can see that even with 44 million uh, objects, we can uh, pan and zoom, including entire states worth at a time, um, using the uh, wheel mouth, mouse to scroll in and out. Let's uh, zoom to fit to that area. And you can see pretty much whatever we do, it happens instantaneously. Now, people who know ArcGIS Pro are going to know that you don't get this kind of same performance with ArcGIS Pro with uh, 22 million, ob million objects. So let's turn on ArcGIS Pro. And this is exactly the same project, exactly the same data loaded into ArcGIS Pro. What we've done is we've taken the shape files here and we've grouped them. So those are all shape files. And these uh, shape file layers have been added from shape files. The US Roads table is a uh, uh, Esri file geodatabase. So this is about as fast as it gets. Let's see how fast uh, Arc can uh, render the uh, shape files. We're going to turn them on, and this is all 50 shape files. And uh, no surprise to anybody who's familiar with uh, ArcGIS Pro, it's rendering with absolute painful slowness. You know, if you actually want to see all of them, you're going to be sitting around here waiting for a long time for this stuff to render. Uh, I mean, I, I, it's just kind of hard to sit here and watch it. I, I don't know about you, but it's, it's hard for me. Let's, let's turn those off. Now let's try to see what the whole 22 million roads layer is. And uh, this is going to show up in uh, this kind of mustard green color, which uh, Arc assigned by a default. Uh, and this is coming in from uh, Esri's uh, mighty uh, file geodatabase. This is using Esri geodata geodatabase technology. And this is all the faster it is. It's actually not bad if you zoom into an extremely small area, to you only, so you look on a only look at a few uh, roads at a time. So let's uh, zoom in here to uh, LA. And you can see it's kind of uh, it's filling in there. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it, could, it could be worse. So uh, let's, uh, let's go all the way into there. But it's not like Manifold. I mean, it's just taking here forever to uh, do this jerky stuff. And I don't know what it's waiting on. But it still hasn't filled in with those uh, roads. There you go. They're starting to do that. So let's click back and let's go back to where we were. Navigate back to where we were. As uh, ArcGIS Pro loads those lines in from the geodatabase, it's, it's quicker at the ones that it's loaded. But that still means it's painfully slow for everywhere else. So if we go to New York or someplace like that, it's just going to be slow. Let's leave that cooking and let's see what Manifold does in the meantime. This is kind of cruel, but the equivalent is let's turn all those on and you can see that's done. Uh, you could do this a hundred times. 
you know, going back and forth for the time that it takes Esri to load all this stuff. And all I'm doing is I'm just clicking on ArcGIS Pro or a Manifold on the taskbar. And to turn that off, turn it on uh, to uh, zoom to New York. Let's go back. Let's zoom here somewhere near Chicago. Well, near the Great Lakes. Here you go, down to Chicago. And uh, as you can see, all this stuff is super fast in the manifold. Um, and it's still uh, absolutely painfully slow in ARC. I mean, and, and if you wanted to uh, open up all these groups, like both the shape files and what's there, you're just going to see it's going to take forever. So let's not mess around with that. That's just too, too painful for words. Uh, I'll turn that back off. And here in manifold, let's turn these layers back on. And let's see how QGIS does, which I'm going to tell you right away uh, is a more favorable comparison. And I've just switched gears here. I've switched to a, we're doing all this, by the way, by the, from remote desktop. So where we were before, let me uh, show you what we were working on here. This is the remote desktop that we were working with to uh, connect to a QGIS. And uh, let's turn on Task Manager and Performance. And you can see we're using a Ryzen Threadripper, 24-core Threadripper. Uh, Manifold will use all 48 threads to uh, do the rendering. Uh, Esri won't. So Manifold, of course, is uh, you know, a whole lot faster. Let's minimize that. Now let's go to the other server where we have a uh, QGIS running, and here also we have Manifold going. So this is a uh, let's see, this is a a Ryzen uh, 9 uh, 12 core processor. So Manifold will use all uh, 24 threads here, and uh, let's see how it does with the states. Let's turn on states. This is on the Ryzen. You can see that's well, as expected, it's instantaneous. It's Manifold after all, and uh, it's slightly slow doing it all in one layer, but it's still you know not bad at all. And when you're considering that a Ryzen uh, 3900X is uh, less than 400 bucks these days, or around $400. Uh, that's a pretty good value for your money. So let's see how QJS does does at this. I can turn this back off. It. And uh, here's Q, and this is exactly the same uh, project as in uh, uh, as in Manifold. And uh, let's turn on uh, well, let's turn on the states. This Q does very well because QJS. You can see how it's doing this much more quickly than uh, ArcGIS Pro. Uh, Shape files used to be the native. Uh, uh, format for QJS. That's that's basically what QJS used with shapefiles. And it did that for many years. So QJS is very good at shapefiles. It's probably the best open source package there is for a, you know, displaying stuff with shapefiles. And you can see it rendered all that, something that was just unbelievably painfully slow in ARC, but was you know reasonably uh, tolerable and reasonably okay in QJS. Uh, the roads layer that we have here is coming in from GPackage. And because we just we've imported that from GPackage, let's turn on the roads layer. And there's the roads layer. Uh, just like ARC, uh, QJS is, is very slow at this uh, because uh, G package is actually a slightly slower format than uh, G gen, than file geodatabase in ARC, uh, and neither one of them is as fast as Manifold. So let's click Manifold open in the same machine, and let's turn on US roads in Manifold. This is coming from the local project. It's not stored in some database. It's just stored in an ordinary map file, and you can see it's instantaneous. Uh, we can draw and redraw this, uh, you know, a hundred times uh, in the time that it takes uh, QJS, which is still working on drawing it. We're just going back and forth in the task taskbar to uh, to do that just once. Let's uh, zoom to fit. Uh, turn that off. We'll turn on uh, all the states. We'll turn on uh, the road. So now we're working with uh, 44 million uh, objects. And let's go here to uh, the Chicago area. And you can see just even drawing all those 44 million objects in the uh, 51 layers, one of which is a, it's a pretty big layer, 22 million objects layer. Uh, it's still all that is instantaneous. Um, let's uh, turn those off. Uh, hmm. Well, let's uh, control click on this to zoom to fit. Now let's go back to Q. Q still isn't done. Um, <laughs> and uh, okay, what can I do there? I guess I can zoom to fit here. And I, I don't want to mess this up, so let's, let's zoom in. And uh, let's zoom to fit to, uh, let's zoom to fit to say the Chicago area. That'll help Q just be faster uh, because G package is, is fairly sensible about pulling in, you know, the data that it needs. And let's, let's zoom farther in. There, so you can see that that's not bad at all. It's uh, it's not unreasonable. It's not crazy. Uh, it's not as good as Manifold, but it's uh, definitely uh, faster than uh, ArcGIS Pro. Let's zoom to layer, and um, we're going to redraw all this stuff, which will which will take longer. I hope you've enjoyed this shootout. I think it's pretty clear. Oh, one last thing I want to say is that as you can see, what we're doing here for a projection in uh, QGIS, these are all latitude and longitude pro projection. This viewport that we're looking at here, the window that we're looking at here that has these two layers, both of these layers are on latitude and longitude projection, and so is the viewport. So there's no reprojection on the fly. In contrast, in Manifold, this viewport that we're looking at here 
is uh, a Bank Street Maps projection, which is in uh, looking at the info pane. The map itself is in Pseudo Mercator, just like Bing, which is Pseudo Mercator. If we look at the state's GDT, what we're doing is we're reprojecting on the fly all 50 of these uh, individual layers from uh, the uh, state plane uh, GCS North American 1983. Uh, uh, projection coordinate system into Pseudo Mercator. So all the speed that you're seeing here with Manifold, uh, all that is uh, even considering that it's reprojecting uh, those uh, many layers on the fly, while QGS isn't, isn't doing any of that reprojection at all. Uh, I guess the results are that we've seen here is that uh, uh, ArcGIS is painfully slow. It's uh, It does some things okay, like if you're working with just a tiny little bit of a uh, a GDB and you're zoomed into that layer and that's all you're working, it's, it's tolerable. But other than that, I don't know how people can use it with larger amounts of uh, data. It's just uh, too painful for words. QGIS does much better with shapefiles. Uh, that's to be expected. Those shapefiles were, you know, at one time a QGIS uh, native uh, format. Now GPackage is the native format. Still, with larger data, it tends to bog down. And uh, whenever you uh, redraw something in it, at, uh, like you know, move it around, it wants to, you know, it tends to want to redraw all that stuff. So that's uh, th that can be tedious, but uh, it's still tolerable. In contrast, by far the fastest, basically instantaneous performance, even with 44 million objects, is uh, Manifold System Release 9. Like I say, you can try all this out in the free viewer, download viewer, see for yourself, learn how to work all these different features uh, in Manifold. Viewer is free, it's read-only, but still, you know, go for it. It's a wonderful thing to use, and it has a full spatial SQL, and, and it's both CPU and GPU parallel. Uh, Manifold is only $95, which is a uh, steal if your value is, uh, if your time is worth uh, uh, anything, uh, any value at all. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Tell your friends about Manifold, and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.